Welcome in One Nation to another episode of The Latest Buzz. I'm your host, TJ Winger. Let's begin this week's episode talking about the volleyball team who picked up a pair of W's this week. First came on Wednesday night when the Hornets traveled to Bridgewater and took down the Eagles in four sets. The second win of the week came on Saturday, also on the road, this time at Shenandoah. Lynchburg dropped the first two sets of the match, then battled all the way back, winning sets three through five to improve to five and four in ODAC action. Additionally, while we're talking about the volleyball program, I'm sure many of you already know, but if you didn't see it, it was announced last week that Lynchburg will be adding its 25th sport in the form of women's beach volleyball. The sport will officially be added in the 2022-2023 academic year, and we're all excited to see what's in store for the new program. Transitioning the field hockey team now, Wednesday night was a tough battle for the number 17 Hornets, traveling to Lexington, Virginia to take on the number 14 Washington and Lee Generals. Ultimately, it was WNL walking away as the victors besting Lynchburg 3-2, with all five scores coming in the first half. After the loss ended a 32-game ODAC win streak, Saturday presented a chance to start a new one as Lynchburg played host to Randolph-Macon on homecoming. The Hornets dominated in regards to possession, but the match was still scoreless until we were down to about a minute and 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It was Emily Giannis proving not all heroes wear capes and came through late and was the hero moving Lynchburg to 9-4 in the season and 4-1 in ODAC play. Next up, let's highlight the equestrian team as the Hornets race to a fourth place finish on Saturday, the Hollins University Intercollegiate Horse Shows Association Show. And we also have to give a quick shout out to the cross country team, starting with Frank Casorba on the men's side, winning the men's 8K race at the Rowan University Intercollegiate Border Battle. Overall, the men's team raced to a runner up finish and the women's side finished fifth out of 35 teams competing. Now we'll finish the video talking about the soccer programs first, with the men's team, they were at home on Wednesday night playing host to Guilford in a rematch of last season's ODAC championship game. And after a scoreless first half, the Hornets broke through with a pair of goals, the first from Kenny Robles and the insurance goal supplied by Brennan Lagana. And on Saturday, Lynchburg was scheduled to host Shenandoah, but due to COVID protocol, Shenandoah was forced to forfeit the match, giving Lynchburg their ninth win of the season. Lastly, the women's team were also at home on Wednesday, taking on Virginia Wesleyan. And in a defensive battle, the Marlins were able to steal one on the road from Lynchburg, ending the team's 10-game win streak. Fast forward to Saturday, the Hornets got back to their winning ways, however, with a 2-0 victory on homecoming over Roanoke. Both goals came in the first half, the first from Avery Weiscarver, the second from Megan Lauder, all on top of the team's eighth shutout of the season. That's going to bring it close to this episode of The Latest Buzz. Be sure to head to lynchburgsports.com for more of the latest news, results, and stories revolving around Lynchburg athletics.